Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have an unbooting. Now, two things. One, I'm joined by the ladies today. So say hi, Minna. Hi. And say hi, Maggie. M Maggie. Say hi. Just say hi. They can't see you. All right, and Maggie. Um, and two, special little shout out to Michelle. I want to say it's Michelle Shoden. If I'm saying your name wrong, my bad. I'll put like a little editing leash. We'll put something like right there. Um, so yeah, so as you guys know, it's summertime. So my kids are around. You're going to hear kids outside playing. You're going to hear traffic noises. Uh, it is what it is. Either way. So Michelle alerted me to this company. She, I guess, had just heard of them and wanted to know what their quality and stuff was like. So she, uh, we're gonna bring you out a little bit. You're a little far in there. But she wanted to know what their quality and stuff was like and wanted to know if I had heard of them before and I told her no. Um, that I hadn't heard of them, but I'd go on their site to check and look around and I did. And I found a couple of canvases that I liked. Now, the first thing I thought when I saw the canvases was, whoa, these things are super expensive. And I was just kind of like, okay, so I'm going to find a couple of cheap ones because where I don't mind paying for quality, um, I've never heard of this company and I didn't want to pay, say, 40 bucks for a 30 by 40. So I found a couple of canvases and a lot of the stuff, the lot of, I did notice a lot of the cheaper canvases were all sold out. So they only had the super expensive ones. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not about that life. So, uh, yeah. So let's get into it. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I don't want to pop this boot, but I guess Minna's never really seen a bubble boot in person before. So it's a first for us all. All right. So we're going to get into this. And we got trash. And this boot is tape closed and we're going to take our handy dandy scissors and cut that open. Maggie wants the boot. And as you can see, I finally decorated my table with my stickers. So thank you, Marissa. Thank you, Kelly Head. And thank you, Jeremy Fryer for all the awesome stickers. Uh, so let's get into this kit or kits. So we got a bubble boot, which Maggie's going to steal. Thank you, Maggie. And it looks like we have a tool kit. And with the tool kit, you get a clear pen with a six placer. Nope, that's a nine placer. With a nine placer, a pair of cheapy tweezers, a boat with a funnel, and a plate of wax. So a little bit more, you know, than a basic kit. This is like an upgrade from the basic. It's like a mocha latte with an extra shot of espresso, I guess. And so then we have our kits. Now they did form and make ridges around the, the bubble boot. Um, but they do have, this one does have a thumbnail. So we're gonna roll these out. We're gonna let them sit for a second there. Let them relax, let them just do their thing. We have two of those kits. So we have two kits, the exact same thing, the white boat, the pin and everything. Um, with the tweezers. Uh, and then we have, okay, they get brownie points. They get brownie points because it does have an inventory sheet. So the first one looks like this. It's a colorful flower. Now, I'm not sure how much detail I'm going to get out of a 25 by 30, but we're going to find out. So that's the first one and the drills. So we're going to go to that kit first, and I'll show you what the other kit is when I do that one. So we're going to put this kit off to the side. We're going to focus on this kit. Now, like I said, it is, or I'm sorry, it's a 30 by, it's a 30 by 25. So it's not going to be super huge. I'm going to try to be as careful with this as possible. We're going to pull this back so it can relax. Because it doesn't seem like it's on there super tight, but yeah. And there's a bubble already. 30 seconds in, there's a bubble. There's more bubbles. So yeah. So I'm not 100% sure what I paid for these. So editing Alicia will have it up there. Oh, okay. It was 15, I'm sorry, 14.90 for the this 30 by 25. You heard right. 
and 90 cents USD, which is American. Um, but as you can see, there's a bubble right there in the canvas that we will have to take care of. And there's a piece of fuzzy. Nope, that's a drill. How did a drill get on there already? Jeez, um. All right. So there's a bubble, which I think if I just leave it for a while, it might fix itself. I don't know. But we're going to pull this because sometimes pulling it will help get out some of those wrinkles. And we're going to undo the other side. And it, again, it does have the thumbnail and the legend on the one side here. Which, in this thumbnail, I mean, you can see it, but you can't really tell what it is. And there's more bubbles and stuff on this side. Which is another reason why I don't like to go super, you know, crazy with buying these canvases. Because you don't know the quality. And I knew they were coming from China, so I wasn't expecting much. Um, some canvases, yeah, they surprise me. But usually, not really. So, yeah. So we're just going to try to work through some of these and before I go you know cutting or anything into the canvas I, I just kind of smooth it out let it sit so our drills so if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds One, some dirt or something came out on my hand. It freaked me out for like 30 seconds. Um, so here's our inventory sheet. It says it was marked, which, you know, we're going we're gonna to check that because, you know, we don't trust just everybody. Oh, there's a crap ton of baggies in here. Holy crap. So there's a crap ton of baggies in here. So, you know, A plus for that. Um, i got to find my pen. Mr. Coffee took it. Now I don't know where it's at. Hmm. We're gonna go with. I'm gonna get my cup over here. Nope, that's a drill pen. Don't you hate when you go look for pens and they're drill pens? And you're like, crap, I can't use that. All right, so I got a pen. So I'm gonna do this like a boss, and when I come back, I'll let you know if I have all the drills. Are you ready? Go. like I'm missing one color and I need four of them which is 3716 I could have sworn I saw it I have a 3713 but I don't have a 3716 um, that's what the frantic looking for at the end of the little thing there was um, yeah I don't have it so I'm not sure what exactly I should do about that one so I'm gonna contact the company let them know it was missing its drills and have them send it out. If they don't, then I'll just have to order them from somewhere else. So yeah, so, so far the kid has bubbles and some indentations in, in the glue and stuff from it being rubbled, rolled in the bubble boot without protection. Um, there was no foam roller or anything and now there's creases all throughout the canvas. There's bubbles in the canvas. There's wrinkles in the canvas. Um, so far, it's not looking too good for this company. For the amount of money you're paying for these kits, definitely not. They get like a two out of five for that. You're missing a you you're missing four bags of drills. You got wrinkles and bubbles and stuff in the canvas. It just came rolled up in a bubble boot, and it was fourteen dollars for a thirty by twenty five. Yeah. Whoo! All right, let's move on to the next kit, shall we? And if I happen to find the bags of drills that I'm missing, I will add in an edit somewhere in the video. But for right now, it's missing four bags of drills. So the next kit that I got, which is this one. And as you can see, it's going to have issues. Look at the back of it. Oh, geez. 
This kit I paid $15.90 uh, American for. And it's got wrinkles and all kinds of fun stuff in the back of it. Um, hang on a second. I'll be right back. All right. So this one is this. It's an adorable little squirrel. Yeah, now I'm getting into squirrels, folks. It's an adorable little squirrel. And that's what this canvas is supposed to be. So we're going to flatten it out. I didn't show you the drill field on the other one. I'll show you that one in a few minutes here. I'm going to have to get the drills off of it. But we're going to pull this back. So far, there's nothing wrong with this canvas. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And you can see it clear as day. All right, so this canvas, where it has wrinkles, again, we all have wrinkles. I'm not gonna judge the canvas for wrinkles, um, even though I did just judge the last canvas for wrinkles, but these aren't hard wrinkles or anything. I, I should be able to get those out. Look how cute that is, oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna put that cover paper back on that way. And yes, I do know there's methods to straightening out your canvas, like ironing them or putting them under heavy books. But for $15 for a 25 by 30, I shouldn't have to do that. So yeah, so here's the little squirrel and he has his little acorn there. Uh, let's take a look at the drill field. If I can get it up to you guys. Drill field, nice and clear. Um, as in visibility wise, the B and the D. Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, that rhymed. Eh. All right, so if you look there, let's see if I can hold this up. So if you look there, there are the Ds there. And then right on top of it, same color, are Bs or eights. Yeah, yeah. So that might give me a little bit of trouble, but you know what? It's gonna be worth the trouble because this thing is freaking adorable. I'm gonna do this one next. And I, oh, sorry. The last kit was a square and so is this one. Again, I paid $15 for it. I paid $15 for it. We're gonna flatten this out. If you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Oh, also, I got distracted because the kids are here. Um, it only took this package about 19 days to get to me, which to me is a lot. Um, usually you can get a kit from China, usually around 12 to 15 days. And it took this one 19 to get to me. Um, I'm not sure if that's just, you know, track or shipping or however, which that's on the shipping company. That's not on the actual company itself. But I ordered these. Wow, when did I order these? Um, hold on a second, I'm gonna check for you. La la la, la la la, la la la, la. Pops amongst your stoves. So I, they shipped out on the 24th, but I didn't order them on the 24th. I ordered them the evening of something. Okay, so they shipped pretty quick actually. So I ordered them on May 22nd. They shipped on the 24th, and then they arrived to me on June 11th. So about 19 days to get here, because that's what my tracking app says. Took them 19 days to get here, which isn't bad. That and at this point you kind of forget about them and then when they come in you're like, yay. So yeah, um, so here's its drills. Lots of yellows and I want to say that's red or burnt orange or something. What color is this, Minna? 
now that I have people here to help me. Which one? This? Yes. All of them? That is orange. Okay, it's orange. So yeah, so it does come with an inventory sheet. And seeing as how the last one was marked but was missing four bags of a color, I'm gonna check this one. Again, we're gonna do it like a boss. For some reason, they like to fold up baggies in the inventory sheet. So if you do order from this company, beware of the baggies that fly out of the inventory sheet. So again, I'm gonna do this like a boss. I actually really wanna kit this one up because it's small and it's adorable and we're gonna measure it too before I start uh, getting into the drills. So it's supposed to be a 25 by 30. So from pasting area. Hey, they're right on the money. From pacing area to pacing area is 25 by 30 for this little squirrel. Again, it was 1590, which I think is a little, it, that's a little extra for the price of this, but it, it, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, so we got our pen, we got our inventory sheet, we got our drills. We're gonna do uh, inventory like a boss real quick. And then when I come back, I'm gonna show you the drill field on the other canvas and everything else that I missed because this is just a hodgepodge. There are kids running around back there that you can't see. So like my brain is everywhere. Either way, so I'm gonna do this like a boss. I'm gonna come back, give you my final thoughts. And yeah, so hold on a second. I'm marking off these symbols that are supposed to be gonna give me trouble because, okay, so the B is gray and the D is like a brown but they look the same. Like if you look on the inventory sheets at the two I have marked there. It's hard to see that B, which is right there. And then the D's right there with the little circle next to it. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Mm. French vanilla, my favorite. And now we're gonna get into the inventory like a boss. So. Go! Alright, so this kit actually has all of its diamonds. So this one is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and start kitting that one up. And since it's not a whole lot of colors, I'm actually going to kit this one up in my purple case here because you know I haven't used that yet and I am going to have my storage video going up probably this week because of the fact that I have all the storage containers that I can think of that I would use so I should you know have that video going up this week I'm gonna take and there's a tool kit for these kits inventory for the last diamond painting I'm gonna put these crap load of baggies actually in this container. So, yeah, so if you didn't remember what this one looked like, because I opened it in a live, it's the, if I can stop bumping you, it's the 60 slot container with the little vials in it. Um, I do eventually want to get all three sizes, but for right now, this one will work. That and I really like it. All right, so that will be getting kitted up as soon as I turn the camera off. Um, so let's, let's focus on this one again. Let's go back to this one. Um, I'm not gonna redo inventory or anything like that. But I wanna measure it to see if it measures correctly because a lot of these companies are what everybody likes to call drop ships. So I'm gonna check to see what we got going on here. So is this one correct? This is the flower one. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna move this one out of the way. So it's supposed to be a 30 by 25. So from pasting area to pasting area, we got 30. Yep, oh, yep, oh, yep, oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Jeez, um, get it together, Alicia. All right, by 25. All right, so they both are true to size, so they get a point for that, so we'll give it a three out of five for this one since it's missing stuff. Um, 
Well, let's look at this drill area quick here. So there's a drill filled in some bubbles. What is that squiggly letter? Oh, it's a G. The legend is pretty small, so it's hard to see what the characters are. But again, I have the inventory sheet. And for the inventory sheet, I can just cut it down right here where it has the DMC number and the symbol. And then I'll use the sticker maker to put those stickers on top of the vials in that container for whenever I do kit it up. But uh, it doesn't look confetti heavy. It actually looks really good minus the bubbles. Like that really bothers me. And I always tell people if you're going to use a sharp object, go out towards the, the outer part of the canvas. Like go that way. Don't go towards the center because then you're just going to push push the bubble into the center of the canvas. So when you, you do your chopping method, go towards the outside of the canvas so that the, the air bubble has a place to go. So you want to push the air out of the canvas. Let it pass gas, if you will. All right. But yeah, so the symbols on here don't look horrible. Um, what the heck is that letter? What symbol is that? It's... That's in. I don't have my glasses on. No wonder I can't see. Hi, Maggie Pie. It's right above the nine. And it would help if I had the correct inventory sheet. Jeez, um. All right, so it's right above the nine. Oh, it's a number four. Okay, I see it now. I see it. So, yeah, it's not confetti heavy. This is another one of those what Rachel Ray would call a snack. A snack is a diamond painting that you do in between uh, your bigger canvases. So I actually might work this one up sooner than later because it, again, it's not huge and it, it needs to be worked on so that the bubbles and stuff don't get worse in it anyways. So we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, so this is, if I didn't already say it, the Elisa diamond painting store. It's not on AliExpress. It's a website. I will have the website and the information at the end of the video for each, uh, sorry, Maggie just handed me my Fox pen from Karen. Like, if you guys don't remember my little fox pen. Anyways, I will have the Alyssa store diamond painting linked down below. I'm not going to link the canvases because I, I personally just don't want to go back through the entire website looking for the canvases. If I can find them easily, I will go ahead and link the canvases. Other than that, I'm just going to link the website for you guys to go check it out if you're wanting to go check it out. Uh, my final thoughts. It's hella expensive. I'm not going to lie. $15 and $16 if you round up. Um, for 30 by 25s, one, in that size, you're not gonna get a lot of detail. So essentially you're paying almost $20 for something that's not gonna have the detail you want. Um, it's not protected, there was no foam, form, foam core. So, you know, they, they miss a brownie point for that. They gain a brownie point because they do come with inventory sheets. Uh, they lose another brownie point, and I'm going to go back through this, and I will add a comment at the end on the picture of this one, so that because I'm going to put the thumbnail up, and then like the price, and like they are squares, obviously, like I said before. If if I find the bag of drills that is missing, or the four bag of drills that are missing, I will add it in there. If I don't find the bag of drills, then you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, um, would I say check them out? Sure. But I am going to warn you, they are super expensive. And I don't know how the bigger kits come, but the littler kits don't have pretty much any protection. And I'm sorry, if you're paying that price, you want the quality to be there. And I do not see it with these kits. These kits are going to be something that I work up for fun and not so much for, well, all the kits I work up are for fun. But th these kits are, like I said, they're snacks. They'll probably be gifts for people that I give away because, again, they're not... Besides that squirrel. That squirrel, I'm keeping for myself. But they're not going to have a whole lot of detail because of the size that they are. Um, if you would like to go check them out, again, I will have all the information down below. That's it for me. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video and you're not already a subscriber, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me... It's random. With that said, I'm going to do like I always do and remind you, be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.